Hey, this is Damo from Coast Barbell Club, strongest gym in the north. And uh, I'm just going to elaborate on what I uh, put on an earlier thread about uh, elbow tendonitis, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, and uh, the use of compression to uh, help heal an injury or uh, tendonitis. Um, this isn't a 100% cure for everybody. It doesn't always work for everybody, but it's been working for me and it's been working for some of my athletes in here at Coast Barbell. Uh, mostly powerlifters and uh, league players and strength athletes looking for speed and power. Um, so we'll just rip straight into it. I've got someone strong to help me do this. So uh, I've got Rachel here in and uh, we'll show you how it works. So what we've got is uh, we've got an uh, Inza gripper wrap. You can see it's quite a stretchy um, knee wrap. And um, you can actually get compression bands which are uh, quite a bit narrow, about half as wide as this and quite stretchy, so you can actually bind quite well. This is pretty hardcore, so uh, and it's all we've got. Um, I usually use uh, an RPM wrap which doesn't have the gripper on the inside, it's not so hard on the skin, but uh, we left those behind. Anyway, we'll just rip straight into this. So, what she's going to do, she's going to wrap from the uh, bottom of the bicep all the way through. putting a lot of pressure on the wrap. These wraps are pretty good for it, so are the RPMs, they're nice and stretchy so you get good compression. And then she'll just come back up and cross that joint again. And we'll just tuck that away somewhere. So what we're doing here is um, the compression is actually restricting blood flow to that joint. Now, my particular tendonitis is right in here. Uh, it's called golfer's elbow, as the technical, as, as the doctors, what Dr. Google would call it. And um, but whether it's tennis elbow, uh, which is on the outside, or golfer's elbow, or just a general tendonitis from pressing, especially overhead pressing, um, then this uh, compression on this joint is uh, is stopping blood flow to that particular area. So what we do now is uh, we put me through the the painful part of the exercise. And we just manipulate that joint under compression. Let's do five each way. And open it right up. So now we just go the other way, we just open that joint right up. And this is where it particularly hurts. Rachel's enjoying this. And then just some uh, rotation. Oh. And it's, uh, it's good in there too. Okay, and then what we do, we do that for about two or three minutes. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, we're not going to. Um, and we do it for two or three minutes and we work it really hard and should even get her thumbs in there and really dig in and try and separate some tissue out from around that particular joint, especially up in the bicep. Uh, where it meets the bone and where uh, the forearm meets the bone there as well, which is where those tendons are. So, and then what we do is we take the wrap off and you'll see my skin's all, all white under there. And then you can see all this. And then all the blood will come rushing back in here. And you can see all the blood that's going nice and red and pink again. So all that blood that's pouring back in there now is getting into that manipulated joint where we opened it right up and um, it's getting right in deep where the muscle would normally soak it up. So it's been take the blood's been taken out, it's pouring back in there, and while it goes back in there, it's taking a lot of those oxygen-rich nutrients in there, uh, all the healing stuff, all the bits and pieces it needs to um, uh, to heal it, and it's also taking waste out of that muscle as well. So give that a try, see how you go. It, um, it like I say, it's not a cure for everybody, but it certainly works very well for me, and already. Uh, that's feeling a lot better and I've got full extension back in my arms, so into it. This is Damo and Rachel from Coast Barbell, strongest gym in the north.